Hello, y'all. It's 9.32 a.m. in the morning. Oh, it's 9.32 a.m. in the morning. Oh, Even when there's nothing crawling on me, I keep on constantly feeling a sensation that something is crawling on me. But, um, so, I had that dangerous situation in the middle of the night. And, um, but eventually, I thought it was probably after 5.30, but it probably could have been sooner than that. But I don't remember when, but sometime in the morning, I dozed off and fell asleep. And after that, I, um, woke up and mistakenly thought it was 9 something, but it was 7.07 when I, when I had the final wake up this morning. I thought I fell asleep after 5.30 after it got started to get light outside, but I could be wrong. Um, so, but due to what happened last month, um, with the online stalkers contacting um, the hotels and lying and showing them old videos and having me wrongfully permanently banned from all Wyndham hotels, plus also them um, threatening to show up at my court date. It's, I mean, I've been warning pretty much all month that my, even probably last month, I've been warning that, you know, my court date is coming up soon. So the day after tomorrow is the court date starting trial and um I know certain people say that um it's best to be quiet and don't say anything on social media about anything about your court case but the reason why I'm publicizing and talking about it is because it's gang stalking related and part of the gang stalking setup and um, hold up. The last time I heard from that fake public defender guy, who's a perp, um, it was two. It was when he called me up and rescheduled um, the court date. Like it's been over a month. I have not heard anything from him at all. But um, he said something about. Um, the discovery and motions and discovery and the body cam footage I'm new to all of this I don't even know like court terminology or law or anything like that you know so he remember I told y'all recently that he judged me as guilty and defended and agreed with the prosecution against me all because I don't have any money and probably because I'm black too. And because I'm female and black female and disabled and targeted and disadvantaged. And so he um you know declared me guilty and pushing for me to go to jail before he could even see the body cam footage. And I requested the body cam footage I think back in March. And um and three months later he said that he still never saw the footage. So but due to my homeless situation and I don't have a storage unit or anything like that, like when I wore the clothes for court um last month, um well, I couldn't carry them around for a whole month, you know. So, I, I mean, I got to go through the cycle again for trying to get clothes for court. Clothes and shoes for court. Um, so, it's like if I go to court, I wear the clothes and then try to give them away to somebody because I can't carry them, carry them around. I have to keep my belongings to a minimum. And, um... And my original plan was, um, you know, if I would have got the full um, Social Security check this month, my original plan was to save, like, uh, after paying my 
bills like my phone bill and after paying my um my bus passes and food or whatever I needed um my plan was to set aside like $650 of my own social security and SSI money set that aside earlier in the month for hotel room food and whatever I need to prepare for the court date and so you know unexpectedly hmm, with a coincidence that the moment the court trial starts oh the social security they reduced my social security check by more than half so they gave me less than half of the check and um so the reasons why I need help with the hotel room well first and foremost I heard it's gonna be like raining and then um they're making my nose itch oh something um got on my face So there's a perp with a red shirt coming up. Well, look like a perp family. So, well, what happened last? Because of what happened last time, I can't show their faces. Plus, they got kids with them. Dad and son are wearing perp colors, and the and the dad is smacking his gum. Um, the sun is purping with um red shirt and well, it's not the kid's fault because he looked like like he's about five years old. But they dressed the sun in a red shirt and black shorts, and the dad has a red shirt and um black writing on it and khaki shorts, and the mom is wearing like a pink dress. So. But yeah, they, they're perps. So, but um, I don't know if I'm gonna just wait until later on in the day to um post this up. They might be gone by then. But um, but yeah, um, so first and foremost, it's supposed to rain all week. And, like, after Wednesday night or Thursday, it's supposed to rain every night in the middle of the night and rain all day, every day. And I'm like, wow, it sounds like I need a help with a whole week of hotel or motel. So, um, <coughs> excuse me. So then, um, yeah, I think there might be ants biting me up. So then, um, the, um, so, like, I need help with hotel room. It's going to be raining. Um, also, you know, I, the $650 that I had planned to save also for Uber or cab rides or something like that, too. Um, because I know if I took the bus and can't take my phone, um, that they would gang stalk me even heavier, and excuse me, and probably plan more wicked setups. So, so then, um, I, I mean, like, I need a help with a couple of ho at least a couple of hotel nights, um, so that I can have extra rest and not be as much of sleep deprived going into the courtroom and can't even my brain can't even process or think properly and um also I need help you know need a way to get a shower and get groomed and get like you know try try to get me some super cheap like outfit and shoes for court you know, and, um, you know, try to get like a super cheap outfit and shoes for court. And it seemed like I would have to keep going through this cycle of, um, you know, 
and, and it's like nobody wants to pray for me and pray that they drop the charges. And then they keep perping by saying, what if they found you guilty? What if you're found guilty? Well, if the cops were gang stalkers, the um, people in jail and the jail guards were gang stalkers. The inmates and jail guards and everybody, satanic devil worshiping gang stalkers. And, um, you know, I don't know about the judge, but the, I'm pretty sure they would influence him. And also the fake public defender being gang stalkers. Um, you know, so I'm gonna wait till several hours later to, um, you know, but yeah, they, they got perps here, and um. So yeah, I'm gonna uh, um, post this much like maybe later on in the afternoon. I don't think they'll that the perp family will be here all the entire day, but yeah, they're here to perp. So, but um, but yeah, the the, the online stalkers bullying, harassing, and threatening me and telling me that, oh, we're going to make sure that we show up at your court date. The fake Darnell Williams perp and the fake, the, not Anthony, but the actual fake Darnell Williams perp. Not Anthony, but the actual fake Darnell Williams perp and the fake Aquarium Doris perp. Bullying, harassing, and threatening me and telling me we're going to show up at your court date. So... <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and I see a a, a mal like a 2013, 14, 2012 model Malibu with um strange headlights. So I don't know if I should wait till this evening to later this afternoon or this evening to publicize um this video, but. You know, as I said, the, with the perps threatening me and planning other sinister stuff in advance, that's why I'm sorry that I had to, um, you know, let people know I need help kind of somewhat at the last minute because I know that they try to sabotage and succeed at set wrongfully sabotaging everything. And, keep, and I mean, I'm asking if anybody, any of the Christians, targeted or not, if any of the Christians could keep me in your, keep me in your prayers. But people are like making justifications for why I deserve to be punished for nobody to pray for me. But they want me to be wrongfully punished to aggressively the fullest extent of the law. And as I said, I'm being treated worse than a murderer. They treat me like as if I did something heinous. So, I have the information in the description box on ways y'all can donate and help me out. I'm trying to get as much hotel room help as possible. And, um, trying to get as much hotel room help as possible. And also, um, you know, and. But I mean, help with hotel room, Uber rides, like round trip Uber ride to and from court, Uber or taxi to and from court, and um, let's see, food, hotel, clothes for court, Uber ride, um, what am I missing? I think that's it. Food, hotel room, clothes for court, and Uber rides. And that's that's what I need help with, um, and also um, like help with to get um, the soap that the the soap that I use, you know, help to get the soap and and toiletries and hygiene items, um, and stuff like that too. 
So whatever y'all can spare, whatever y'all can help me out with. And I'm going to try to work on some fiction short, try to work on some fiction short stories and try to be productive today. I mean, with me being wrongfully blacklisted from employment, I guess the only thing I got for my, going for myself is my writings right now. And the perps try to stop that too. So thanks for listening to me. I love y'all. I'm going to go back in here. I'll see y'all.